Hey, Squints. Got my baby here. We make a lot of ice cream together. Old-fashioned ice cream. The good kind, you know? The problem with old-fashioned ice cream, it's old. So today we're gonna make some new-fashioned ice cream. That's new-fashioned ice cream because we're gonna use science today to make some ice cream that you could use with stuff you have lying around the house, like salt, milk, ice, and flavoring. Let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is prepare our delicious creamy mixture. So I'm gonna make two different flavors. The first one is going to be, you know how uh, after you exercise, uh, some people, uh, healthy people, drink post-workout smoothies. I've heard about them. I've never drank them. Well, so I'm going to make a post-workout ice cream. I think that'll be delicious. And um, I'm gonna flavor it um, with peanut butter because peanut butter has good protein, right? So i uh, get that post-workout protein in there. Uh, and then the second flavor I'm gonna do is in honor of all the rock and roll stars out there, I'm sure they get a real big appetite for ice cream after a big performance. So we're gonna do rock and road. Uh, and so it'll be more of a chocolate and marshmallow type flavor. So the first thing we wanna add is our dairy. Uh, so I happen to have half and half here. You can add whatever dairy you have. 1% milk works, 2% milk works. Um, those all work great. Uh, so here is the half and half. I'm gonna add half a cup of that. I'm gonna pour this into a quart size bag, Ziploc bag. There we go. Delicious. Second most important ingredient for ice cream is the sugar. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. We of course believe that you could be very liberal with the sugar here. Um, and then we're gonna make, this is gonna be our um, post-workout ice cream. So we'll grab some peanut butter, uh, but you could add whatever flavoring you like. Uh, this is where you could add chocolate chips, nuts, if you like nuts. I can't stand nuts, so I'm not gonna add nuts. Not really nuts about nuts. Um, or whatever tastes good in ice cream. Uh, so let's add a little bit more peanut butter. There we go. Mm. Feeling healthier already. And lastly, I'm gonna add my uh, Vanilla, so you add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, toss it into your bag, and then seal it up nice and good. You wanna make sure to get as much air out of the bag as possible. So I'm going to try and get that air out. Okay, and I actually wanna make sure that this is a really tight seal because the last thing you wanna do is get uh, this salt water into the ice cream mixture. Oof. So I'm gonna use some duct tape and just seal off that opening to the bag. Make sure nothing is getting through that seal. So that's our first mixture out of the way. Uh, you'll wanna kind of mush it around and mix it up before, ahead of time, especially if you add some like peanut butter in there uh, because that'll take a little bit more time to uh, combine with everything else. So let's do our second one. All right, so our second flavor, if you remember, is gonna be our rock and road. And so what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna add, uh, again, it should be a half cup of dairy. Uh, I'm gonna do a half of a half a cup, so a fourth of a cup of half and half. And then I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup of chocolate milk. You know, if, you, if I had better ingredients, you know, like uh, chocolate syrup would be wonderful here, uh, but I don't have that. Um, chocolate powder, probably cocoa powder. Would work well. I don't know, I'm not a cook. Whatever's chocolatey, try it. Why not? Okay, so now we got that chocolate milk in there. Uh, it's a pretty good brown color, so I'm feeling good about that. So then we add the sugar, of course, the sugar. So we got a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, and then our quarter teaspoon of vanilla. There goes our flavoring. All right, and, and then the last thing we need to add for rock and road, uh, we have the chocolate, we need the uh, marshmallows. I already mentioned I don't like nuts, I'm not throwing in nuts. Uh, the thing with the marshmallows though is that we had marshmallows here, someone ate the marshmallows. So all we're left with is um, a rice, half eaten, I don't know who ate that, a uh, half eaten Rice Krispie Treat which has marshmallows in it. So we'll say that's good and uh, we'll kind of chunk that up and put in some little chunks. All 
All right, now that we got that creamy goodness out of the way, let's get to the real science of what's going on. So first thing we're gonna need is salt. Here I have some ice cream salt or rock salt, very similar to table salt. The difference is, I mean, they're both sodium chloride, but the difference is rock salt is uh, larger crystals compared to table salt, meaning that it is more dense and it takes longer to dissolve. If you think about what would happen if you took those cream bags and threw them in the freezer, what would happen? They would freeze, but we wouldn't have ice cream. We'd have ice crystals because the freezer takes too long to freeze the water in the cream. And so it gives it too much time, the water too much time to grow these large ice crystals. Uh, and then when you eat it, it's just the, the flaky crystal texture, not a creamy texture. What we need is something that allows the, the water to freeze quickly so that the ice crystals stay small, uh, but it still freezes so that it becomes a solid. And this is what salt lets us do. We're gonna add some salt to a bag of ice. And once we add the salt into the ice, it actually will lower the freezing point of the ice or the water. And so this allows us to get below freezing point so that we can then freeze the cream uh, that we are putting in it. So first you're gonna take a gallon size bag and you're going to add four to six cups of ice. All right, so we got a bag of ice here. And then to that, we're going to add about a half a cup of salt. I'm gonna use, like I said, this ice cream salt because I have it, uh, but you could use table salt if you'd like as well. So we're gonna pour that in here. Throw that into your bag of ice. Kind of mix it around. So we grab our cream bags next and we throw that into our now ice bag. And it's important to note, we did not put any salt in the ice cream mixture. Okay, no salt goes in here. That would taste disgusting. Sugar goes in here. The salt only goes in the ice. And we throw our cream bag in there. Try and get out some air. And now all we need to do is shake, 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 shake. Smell the protein oozing off of this. Mm. Oh, that. That's a post workout ice cream if I ever had one. You just feel the pounds sliding right back on me. Mm. Oh, yeah. New fashion, baby. It's the way to go.